Hi, welcome back to Therapy Designs. If you're new to this channel, my name is Kelly and this channel is all about print on demand everything. So if that is a subject that you are interested in, please do stick around. So in today's video, I want to show you how you can create this design right here. This is a super quick, easy design that you can do. Great for beginners and perfect for the summer. So if you would like to learn how to create this and about the style of design, go ahead and stick around. Okay, so I am on Canvas home page and I am going to show you guys how to create a design for a t-shirt. Um, so we're going to go ahead and go to custom size in the top right hand corner. And we're going to select 4500 by 5400 pixels. Now that will pull up a nice blank canvas here. I prefer to design for darker colors. They do tend to be the top selling colors when it comes to t-shirts. So I select a black background to start with for my designs. Now we are going to be doing a design um, like an outdoorsy kind of design and we're going to do a hiking design, um, which is great for summer. Um, people like to do a lot of outdoor activities in the summer. So as we're looking, you know, towards the summer months, um, we're going to start designing um, for, act, you know, outdoor type activities. It's going to be hiking, it's going to be camping, it's going to be fishing, um, swimming, beach, all of those types of things are going to be good designs for you to do. Um, and so for this one, uh, it's going to be pretty simple. So let's go ahead and we're going to go with more of a hiking theme. So I'm going to go to elements and I'm just going to do a search. And so if I search for hiking, you can look at your graphics, see what comes up and see if we can get some good ideas. Um, and so sometimes I'm just looking through some of the designs to see what looks cool like i like that that one there looks cool there's some mountains that i can use um here's a hiker that's just sort of standing hikers in the backgrounds of mountains and so i kind of like some of these styles um and so as i look it's giving me some good ideas of things that i may want to go ahead and try um and sort of those colors that you may want to use so i like the idea of the mountains with a hiker in the front of it i also tend to like some of those sunset designs where you've got the mountains in, in front of the sunset and of course you could completely make that your own by just doing a half circle whatever solid color you want putting the mountain in front and putting the hiker in front of that or sometimes if we do a search for sunsets there's some let's see sunsets Sometimes there's some ones that are already done with the mountains that I like. There's always a lot of beach ones and deserty ones there. Here's an example of one that has like the mountain in front of the sunset. And so something like that can look kind of cool too. You can also narrow down a little bit too. So if I put mountain sunset, it's going to instantly give me sort of the mountains in front of the sunset there. And so those are some other ones that you can go ahead and search for. Okay. So I looked around longer than I probably, you know, should have, but here's a couple ideas of sort of what I was thinking of, where we've got more of that sort of half circular kind of total design with the mountains and the sunset. Either one of these um, would work fine. This one, I just wish I could change the color of the sun to maybe make it a little bit lighter. Um, this one, I was able to change the color of the sun and the mountains, but I actually like this one probably better, but let's just say we're going to go with this one. Why not? And so that's kind of what I was thinking of there. And I can sort of center that to start with. And then I wanted a hiker in the front. And so any hiker would do. And so here's examples of different hikers. Ideally, I'd like a hiker where I can change the color because I'm thinking I want, you know, some hiker who's you know, somewhere in the front here, some good ones here, somebody just sort of standing. Um, if I can get that one white, and I'm just going to kind of see what looks best. And so I liked the idea of the hiker who's just sort of standing there like that. And you can do female, male hiker. You could do two versions and literally try to make it so that you're, you're targeting male or female. Um, I put hiking, I put, could put hiker. And so sometimes you just sort of play with some of your terms to see what you get that looks good. Backpacker, hiker, there's a mountain climber. And so all of these are good things that you can use. But let's just say I'm going to go with this. Um, 
I'm going to go ahead and now we're going to pick some text. So I'm going to hit T on my keyboard here. And this is going to be kind of a long quote, um, but I'm going to do one and it's going to be in all caps that says, if uh, you can find a path with no obstacles, and I'm going to go ahead, move this up. I'm going to make it a nice light color so I can see it. And then we're going to pull up another text box here. And this one's going to say it probably doesn't. And then one more is going to be lead anywhere. So that is the full quote there. And that's kind of how I'm going to have it. If you can find a path with no obstacles, it probably doesn't lead anywhere. I'm going to go ahead now and we're going to pick some fonts. I'm looking for something that is going to be um, bold and narrow, essentially, is what I'm looking for, bold and narrow. So if I go with a narrow font here, I can do that is about as narrow as it gets. That's a little, I think, maybe too narrow for me. So let's try again, maybe something not quite that much. That one looks pretty cool. Let's see. I'm gonna have to make it a little smaller. So that might be somewhat close to what I want. And what I want to do is go to effects, curve it, and I'm gonna have it literally kind of curving around the outside of the circle like that. And that actually Surprisingly fits really well right there. So I might just stick with that if you can find a path with no obstacles. And then here I'm looking for another sort of a bold font. It doesn't have to be as narrow this time, but definitely something a little bit more bold. Um, I can do the same one and see what that looks like, but I probably want to switch it out a little bit. Probably doesn't. Well, maybe, maybe I'll stick with it. Let's see. And then lead anywhere. In fact, that one I might want it to be closer to the same size, which is 384. Maybe we stick with about the same size, but I space the letters out a little bit. So that it's a little closer in size. Something like that. And then I can go ahead and come up with some of these colors here too. So I can get the color that's gonna, you know, match the sunset there. And I can get another color. And I was looking for something a little bit orangey. Maybe something like that. Or maybe I switch these and I make this one the orangey one and this one more the yellowy one. I like that. So that's an example of just a really simple style hiking outdoor design. And so there's a bazillion ways you can go with this and you can take this same quote, mix it up with different graphics and make a bunch of versions of this exact same design using different hikers, different backgrounds, different colors. And so again, when we start to make designs and we wanna scale out, we can take one niche and then we can make a whole bunch of different versions of that same design. Now, if you don't have a lot of slots or you don't have a lot of space, you make a bunch of different versions, you figure out which one looks the best and that's the one you put up. If you have a lot of space, you make a bunch of different versions and you put all of them up. And so this one was really quick and easy to make. It's nothing but a couple of graphics and some text. And the longest part, honestly, was picking the graphics that I wanted. And if you're making a lot of different versions, you can just start interchanging lots of graphics. Um, and then picking the font can sometimes take a little bit of time, but I was you know, pretty simple with that one. So it takes as much time as you want it to take. Um, and sometimes you spend a while looking for fonts, but then if you make a bunch of versions, then it's worthwhile if you're using the same font over and over again. So this was really simple. Once I have it the way I want it, I can go ahead, click anywhere outside of the image. I can group it all together. And then I can move it up in the page. I can even blow it up if I want it to be a little bit bigger. Oops, um, 
And so there it is. Now it would be ready to go on a t-shirt or anything else. And just like that, super, super simple, easy design. It would look good on a black shirt. It would probably look good on like a navy blue style shirt, I'm thinking. Look like navy blue would be something dark like that. It would look good on. Um, it might look okay on, eh, it might be a little light on like one of the lighter grays. Might look okay on the heather gray. So something like that, or even the blue heather gray. So you can play with the, the colors, but most of the shirts are gonna sell in black anyways. And as long as it's popping on black, that's probably where most of the sales are gonna come. If you have any questions about this, drop it in the comment section below. I try to get back to everybody as quickly as I can. I hope you guys are doing really well um, with your sales and you know making a lot of cool creative designs. If you have any topics you want me to cover, you can go ahead, put that in the comment section below. I'll see if I can add you to my list. Um, and I do hope to see you guys again. That's it for today's video. If you found that useful and would like to see more videos with helpful tips and tricks, be sure to hit like and subscribe and turn on your notifications so you don't miss any of the weekly videos. As always, keep growing and stay creative and we'll see you next time.